Hey guys, Mitch here with Super Platinum Achievement, and today I've got a review of the Rig MGX Pro from uh, Nacon, or Nacon, however you say it. Uh, it's a mobile gaming device for your phone to play different games, specifically xCloud. Let's check it out. First off, guys, if you're new to this channel, go ahead and smash that subscribe button down below. It helps us out a ton. We really, really appreciate it. Also, at the end of this video, if you liked what you saw, go ahead and give us a big thumbs up. We appreciate that as well. So diving in here, we've got the MGX Pro from Nacon, the rig. Um, and this is an updated version. I kind of did a review on the last version in my Ways to Play uh, game Pass on your mobile device, and this wasn't out yet when I did that video, so I'm going to review this one separately. So let's take a look at it here. Um, first of all, you're going to notice it looks like an Xbox controller. It's got the Xbox button, it's got more of the Xbox form factor. Uh, right off the bat, it's so much more comfortable than the last version. Uh, it fits in your hand like a controller, and it feels great. Obviously, the downside to that is it's not as uh, slim and sleek and easy to carry around. It's like carrying around a controller plus some because it's a lot wider. Um, and it's got uh, some springs here, so you just do that. Whatever phone you got, it'll fit. So we just take my phone here and just pop it in there. And then to turn the device on itself, you're going to push and hold your Xbox button. And it turns on. Now, if you haven't paired it already, you're going to want to pair it to it. When you first turn it on, it should automatically be in pairing mode. If it's not, you got a little Bluetooth button here on the bottom where you can push and hold that. That will start blinking and you'll be able to put it in pairing mode and pair your device. So uh, when you're holding it and you got your screen in here, it looks awesome. So you see I got uh, Game Pass pulled up here. Um, feels awesome and I was super excited. The analog sticks feel great. Um, it's supposed to have an awesome battery life as well. It says 20 hours of battery life. Um, I only charged it up once, haven't charged it since. Uh, I haven't played a ton on it, uh, but I did get some good playing time in and it hasn't died yet. Uh, and it just charges with USB-C. So yeah, when you're actually playing a game, it is not my favorite though. The buttons are really good, but when I was playing uh, Halo, the analog sticks are super laggy and very delayed, uh, and there's just horrible latency. Um, I could not be precise playing Halo. Not as bad with some other games, you kind of get used to it, like uh, uh, Forza Horizon 5. Um, that's not horrible, but with Halo, or any FPS game for that matter, you're going to need to be very precise, and you can't do that with these controllers. I don't know if it's the Bluetooth technology that's built in, if it's the analog sticks themselves, I'm not sure what they did, but I didn't like that at all. Um, and then from the last model, if you uh, watched that video, I said that the uh, uh, triggers, the LT and RT, were uh, awful. They were super stiff and didn't feel good at all. This is a huge improvement on those, and I mean huge improvement. Uh, but I don't think it makes up for the lack of the analog sticks being responsive like i said everything else about this is great uh it's a hundred bucks for when i got it anyway maybe you'll get it on sale for less probably not for a while because it's brand new but um yeah I, it's it's not my favorite like i said it's not very responsive the dead zone is huge if you see here I'm playing halo and i'm going left right left right and not much is happening you have to go quite a bit especially to the left i feel like Back and forward and side to side seem like it's a little bit more responsive, but still not great. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but if you're playing, I went back and forth from this to the Razer Kishi, and the Razer Kishi, I feel like, was quite a bit better with the analog sticks anyway, which are very important. So, like I said, super disappointing uh, with that factor. It, it, it's just a bummer because it's built very well. It feels great. Like I said, I did play with the Kishi. I paired an actual Xbox contro controller to this and it did control much better. This had more issues than those did. And um, if you're in the same price range, the Razer Kishi is actually less. I will say it's not as comfortable and the uh, triggers and buttons don't feel as good, especially the triggers, but the analog sticks are more responsive and it just works better. Probably because the Razer Kishi is wired, it plugs into your phone instead of Bluetooth. 
However, like I said, pairing an actual Xbox controller is still more responsive, and that is through Bluetooth, obviously. So I'm not sure what the issue is. Maybe they'll have a, uh, a firmware update for this eventually that'll fix it. I'm not sure, but uh, I'm not super impressed for the price tag. If it was more around the $60 price range, like you'd pay for a, a standard controller, then yeah, maybe I'd be like, all right, this is pretty good. But for $100, $100 uh, I don't really recommend it. So for right now, unfortunately, guys, I'm going to have to give the Rig MGX Pro a 3 out of 5. It's just not living up to what it should be, especially being licensed by Xbox. Um, it should be top quality and I think nearly flawless, whereas it's not playable right now. Maybe it'll get better. Maybe they'll optimize cloud uh, gaming to work better. But I did cloud. I also did remote play. And there wasn't much of a difference there. Still wasn't responsive. If you're used to playing on the console, especially where it's super responsive and way better, then you're going to be really, really disappointed playing this way. So 3 out of 5 is what I'm going to give this guy for now. Um, I might give it a little bit more time, see if something gets better, see if they release a firmware update. But for now, I would hold off, and I still recommend the Razer Kishi far and above this. So guys, if you like this review, give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, and we hope to see you again here on Super Platinum Achievement. We'll see you guys.